Today we're going to have a look at a really cool feature that you can use with TextMesh Pro that I don't think is used very often and it will allow you to turn any font into a sort of a graphical look any way that you like, like the example I have on the screen. And you can do this using Unity plus whatever editing program you choose to use. I'm going to use Photoshop but it'll work just as well with Inkscape or MS Paint or whatever you choose to use. So the first thing you're going to need to do is grab yourself a font. I've picked this blocky demo font I found online, but any font that you want to use is fine. Next you're going to need to import TextMesh Pro. So let's add the game object, UI, text, TextMesh Pro, and you want to import the essentials. Now I'm going to set my canvas screen space camera, use my main camera, set the distance to 1, click on the canvas and press F over this scene to make it so you can see it. I'm going to turn my gizmo size down. I'm going to grab the text component. I'm just going to pull this into the middle. A little bit bigger. I'm going to up my font size. I'm going to center it. And finally, I'm going to go to my main camera, set my background to black, and choose a soiled color. I'm going to change my text. For example, next thing you need to do is you need to import your text. So to do this, go Window, Text Mesh Pro, Font Asset Creator, and drag your font in here. Now when you hit Generate Font Alias, it'll generate it here. Your standard will be on something like STF 16 and that's what you should use normally but you'll see that when you generate this you get this kind of little blurry outline and that's not great for the, what we're going to try and do so instead of using the standard one I'm going to change it just to smooth I've changed my size your size will be a standard 512 by 512 I've just made mine a little bit bigger. So I'm going to pick five for my padding size and my render mode is smooth and this will give me a bitmap. I'm going to choose save as. I'm just going to save it as blocky demo. I'm going to close this. So now we can click on our blocky demo and we can go to the little three dots and we can choose Extract Atlas. And now we have the Atlas here. And I've just set it to Sprite 2D so that you can see. And you can see you have all of your characters down here. Now you'll need to open this in whichever editing program you choose. I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. Okay, I have my Atlas here open in Photoshop. So the first thing I will usually do is go up to Image, go to Adjustments, View Saturation. I'll just turn the lightness all the way up so that I get white letters. And the reason that I'm doing this is if the letters are black and you want to use the color selector in Unity to change the color, you'll only get black letters. So it's best to have white letters and that will allow you to change however you want. However, you'll just be drawing over the top of it, so it may not matter to you. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and turn this Z into a cobblestone-like texture. Now I've downloaded this cobblestone material just from the internet. It's just a random texture. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. I'm actually going to put it underneath layer with all the letters. I'm just going to line it up over the Z. 
I'm just going to turn the fill down on that layer so that I can see through it. I'm just trying to pick a space where most of the Z is covered with cobbles. Now I'm just going to trim this. Remembering that you only have five pixels of padding around it. So I really don't want to select any rocks that are within that past that five pixel boundary. You do have a little bit of leeway to go outside the boundary if you want. If you wanted a bigger leeway, you could turn your padding up on your import setting. Now I'm going to zoom in on this. And now I'm just going to spend a few minutes deleting all of the cobbles that I don't want to see. Now that I've done this, I can hide the layer with all of the letters. And I want to make this pop a little bit more and make it look a little bit more 3D. So to do that, I'm going to grab my burn tool. I'm just going to add shadows. I'm going to add shadows on this left side and then assume that my light source is coming from the right. Now finally I'm going to grab my dodge tool, I'm just going to try and add some highlights. This will really make it look more 3D. And there you have add the letter Z finished. So I'm going to put the opacity back up on this level. I'm going to select the Z. Delete it. Now we can save this and go back to Unity and see if this works. I'm going to go back to Unity. And you can see here's the atlas that I've brought in. I'm just going to set it to a sprite so that you can see all the letters. So we're going to click on the font material. We're going to click up here and we're going to change it to Text Mesh Pro. And we're going to choose bitmap custom atlas. So we're going to click on the material. We're going to expand the settings. And we're going to drop a new atlas over the top here. We're going to go to our text. We'll apply this. And we're going to add a Z onto the end. And as you can see, the Z now turns up as that texture that we drew. I have a previous example that I made. And here you can see that I changed all of the example into that cobblestone look. And that's all there is to it. And it means that essentially you can do anything you want on your texture. And it means that you can do some really interesting types of fonts that you couldn't normally do in a word processor. So I hope some people found this helpful and it allows you to really expand the types of fonts that you use in your game. If you found this useful, please like, subscribe or comment. It really helps me grow the channel. I hope you enjoy your game development.